In the world of Islamic scholars, one name shines brightly above all others, Mufti Menk. But behind his fame lies a journey filled with challenges and triumphs. In today's video, we are going to break down every little aspect of his life from childhood to adulthood. Ismail Ibn Musa Menk, popularly known as Mufti Menk, was born on 27 June 1975 in Zimbabwe. Growing up, he showed a passion for Islamic studies from a very young age with his education beginning from memorizing the Quran and learning Arabic at home with his dad for attending St. John's College for his senior high school. He then furthered his education in the Islamic University of Medina where he studied Sharia. And then he specialized his study from the Kantaria Darul Ulum school found in India. And upon graduating from the Islamic University of Medina, Mufti Menk returned to Zimbabwe in order to impact what he learned to the Ummah. He studied very well, like everybody else. Then over time, he changed his method of preaching by adding a little bit of inspiration and motivation to his lectures. Don't pass those statements, meaning don't be on the other side of what we were saying today. Because a good statement that comes from your mouth, if it were to encourage someone struggling in their weaknesses, would not only help them, would help you and those around you whom you love. When you belittle others, the Almighty may create a situation where you are belittled at some stage. And this method was actually generally accepted by non-Muslims and Muslims in the world. So on 9th November 2010, when he first opened his YouTube channel, he gained over 4.5 million subscribers with over 100 million video views on that channel only. Not to even talk about Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Mufti Menk has a lot of occupation because 1. He is the Grand Mufti in Zimbabwe. 2. He is the head of Fatwa Department for the Council of Islamic Scholars of Zimbabwe. 3. He is an Islamic scholar. 4. He is a motivational speaker. And all the works that Mufti Ismail Menk has done have been recognized by the world, which is why in 2013 he was mentioned among the 500 most influential Muslims in the world and also appeared in 2017 as well. And as a Muslim leader, he has been awarded the KSBEA award in 2013 for social guidance. And then again, he was honored with Doctorate of Social Guidance by Aldersgate College found in the Philippines on April 16. 2016. We need to realize is reaching out to the rest of humanity is far more valuable than the wealth you may have. So if it was all about making money, we would not be here this evening. But it's all about education, teaching, reaching out to others and that's why we're here. Brothers and sisters in Islam, Mufti Meng is one of the few Islamic scholars loved by non-Muslim. In fact, some years ago, Nicki Minaj followed Mufti Meng on Twitter and the media went wild. But just like always, Mufti Meng debunked all the hearsay with just a video. Nicki Minaj. So, to be very honest, I did not know who she was a few years ago. And subhanAllah, she happens to be following a lot of people on Twitter, on Instagram, and whatever else it is. She leads a life in, in the uh, entertainment industry. She's not a Muslim woman. Uh, and at the same time, she probably, for some reason, follows me. Now, people are very inquisitive. Trust me, you don't need to know. You don't need to know. And now, because we are covering the story of Mufti Meng, a lot of you would want to see his family. But guess what? There is no record of them on the internet, be it pictures or videos. But if you have a lead on this matter, just let me know in the comment section down below. And note, it is for the sake of education, nothing more. Brothers and sisters, you know the statement that goes like this, with great power, comes great responsibility. Well, something happened to Mufti Menk years ago when he was attacked on Instagram live by a lady. I was a fan of yours since I was quite young, since I was like 13. However, as I started to learn the Dean, I came across some stuff you said which was completely contradicting Islam. In the dunya, you can't just be sitting at home and giving dawah like this. This is not the way to go. There, there's like actions that we have. She claimed Mufti Menk was misleading people. They killed 3,000 people, but these are the things you don't see in the news because of deceptive sheikhs like yourself. 
Well, you I, I come on and blabber, but we see no action. And that all the people that follow him are foolish. I want to tell you something. This is not being emotional. I'm trying to. I'm trying to speak for all these idiots who actually follow you. As I always say, these kind of things always will happen because once you put yourself out there on the internet you are going to be subjected to scrutiny by anybody on the social media they spread rumor about you have they if they haven't ah you're not lucky enough someone has to have said something about you that's not true that and just for you to be given the opportunity to deal with it in a correct way or in a wrong way deal with it in just say alhamdulillah mashallah but what we can say to them is that mufti ismail bank has impacted more lives than you can imagine he has brought to islam more people than you can count and yes of course he has a huge following from the non-muslims mashallah i watch you on i watch you on uh, tiktok and instagram and everywhere you are doing a good job keep going okay and through Mufti Meng, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has touched souls and changed people's behavior. Strange to see you dressed up like that. Or to see or, me or, dressed or, up like yeah, this. Yeah, or to see us on a boat. Well, look, Habibi, I personally, my normal dress since from the time I was young is a thaw. Hmm. And uh, I've only known that, yes, I, I have worn casuals, but very, very, very rare, you know. And I, I, I guess I've never had the reason to anyway. I've never been in it. Something, it's a personal preference. I, for instance, refrained from doing something bad due to his lectures. And I believe and know that he has also impacted you as well. Who are, mashallah, salah is there. They are on the straight and narrow. They follow Quran, they follow Sunnah. They are interested in the deen and so on. But the way they look at their own brothers and sisters is with the dirtiest of hearts. Their intention is to belittle. Unless you follow exactly what my sheikh says, you are totally out. I'm not going to sit with you, talk to you, eat with you, look at you, reply your greeting or greet you. I have said the impact that Mufti Meng had on me in this video. Now let me know yours in the comment section down below. Perhaps somebody will be touched by your story and get hidayah through that. This brings us to the end of today's video on Digido. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing to the channel and leave a like to this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.